Hi there, and welcome to another video of Made with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andrew, and today I'll be giving you an introduction to the CSS property ops inside of cables. So here I have a main loop and a clear color and a div element. Just create a div element, pop open the style with the edit button, and copy this text over here if you want to get what I've got there. Great, so these are CSS properties, like padding, color, font size, border. So we can dynamically change these inside of cables. So I'll show you how to do this. So first of all, let's start with something really nice and simple. Um, let's go here. I'm gonna grab a CSS property up. And let's say we wanna move it on the left side. So I'm just gonna type in left and we have the value suffix pixels. So now when I move this, as you can see, it's moving this many pixels. But I can now go here and I can put this on, say, percent. And now it's moving 75%. So this suffix, it works like this. You have the property, then the value, and then you add the suffix afterwards. Okay, so let's remove this. And let's put this in zero. And now let's try out opacity. Okay, so now we've got an opacity of zero, and I can fade the element in. So how can we use what we learned in the previous tutorials to make this more interactive? Well, let's look at this hover here, and I'm going to pull that out, and we're going to grab a bool anon, like this, and we're going to give it a trigger, and now we're going to get the value out, and we're going to plug that into here. Now, we know that div is there, but, well, nobody else does. So we can just go to the bool anon, put the value false, and say 0.2. And now when we hover, we alternate between 1 and 0 0.2. I think it's a little bit slow, so I'll put it on 0 0.25. So there we go. So that's how we change something like a simple property. But what if we want to change a property like color? Well, you know, let's keep it simple for now. I'm just going to show you what you shouldn't do. So I'm going to grab the CSS property up. And let's say I want to change the color of the font to black. So I go here and I type in color. And now I'm going to type in black. And this isn't going to work, actually, most of the time. So it's undefined, and now it vanishes, because this except, expects a number. So that's where a different op comes in. And that's the CSS property string. So that allows you to modify a CSS property of an element with a string. So I'm going to pull that out. And as you can see, we've now got a string input. So here I'm going to type in color black. Great. What if we would want to swap between two different colors? Now, a really smooth way of doing it would be uh, with RGB values and smoothing the values in and out. I'm sure you can figure that one out yourself based upon what you see here, but I want to show you something different. Like you said, I want to swap between two strings, white and black. There's quite a few ways to do this, but I want to show you a way which I think is quite interesting. So I'm going to grab the root object up. Now the output of the DOM element here from this op is just actually an object. So that goes in here, and just wrap your head around this. This is the color black. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to make this one white, and I'm going to connect this one here, and this will make the text white, and we go here. So what I want is when I hover over here, it's going to give false or true, and I want to turn that into a zero or a one. So I'll pull this out, and I'll do bool to number, and this will now swap the index of where we're rooting the object. So I'm going to go here. And there's more than one way to do this. I just wanted to show this. So I'm going to press F. We make the text black. We go out. We make it white. So that's a different way that you can swap between these things. Okay? So let's do one more thing now. Go out of flow mode. Um, some... Let me just grab CSS property string. So some things um, are, are bigger than just a string like color black. Like, for example, you've got one called um, margin. And you could just type in one number now and it'll do the left, but you can do um, you can do top, right, bottom, left, all in one argument. So I can do this now, zero pixels, zero pixels, zero pixels, zero pixels. And I can now say 10 and change this part here, but I could also do this and do 50. So this is just a really handy thing with the CSS property string where, you know, you could go in here and define this um, inside of the div element, but you might want to dynamically change it. 
So there you go. That's the basics of the CSS property ops inside the cables. I hope this video has been useful. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.